Please join me as we turn our hearts to God in prayer. Almighty God, we are blessed. We thank you for calling us into a relationship with you and setting us in a world that you created and that you love. Through our prayers, we bring to you our joys and our thanksgivings, also our doubts and fears, our concerns and hurts. Loving God, we pray for our family and friends, those far away and those close by. Bless and protect our relationships that are joyful and life-giving. Bring understanding where our relationships are strained. Oh God, we pray for public officials, politicians, and all who serve the public good day by day. Guide each one to uphold standards of good service above personal gain. Give them wisdom to make faithful decisions and courage when those decisions are unpopular. Caring God, we pray for the people we encounter every day when we are out for a walk or on the phone or using the internet. Help us to be respectful of every neighbor and to treat each person with kindness. Thank you for all who are shining lights in our community and those whose lights have yet to be discovered. Risen Lord, you are the great physician. And we pray now for those who are suffering from illnesses or chronic conditions. For those who are in hospitals, retirement homes, long-term and palliative care homes. For all whose lives have been so drastically changed by this pandemic. We pray for those forced to be in isolation for their own safety and for the safety of others. For those who are frontline healthcare workers and those who keep them safe. Those who make it possible for us to shop for the necessities of life. And those who bring lessons to children and connect through the internet. Lord, we pray for those whose grief has become even more complicated, for those who feel anxious and overwhelmed by what they are facing today, and for those who are suffering from depression or addictions. Listen, listening Father, we so often feel helpless that as a church family, we cannot be present physically to support them. And we pray, dear God, that you move in their lives with your healing grace and show them signs of your presence and compassion in life-giving ways. Enrich our lives with new resources to encourage and to connect and to show your love and caring. Father, many of us live privileged lives while so many are caught up in poverty and sadness. Lord, we pray for those who are without the human and medical resources they need to aid them. Encourage each one of us to reach deep into our pockets to give financially to those who are on the front line, able to feed and to care for them locally and around the world. Faithful Father, your spirit has moved in the world throughout all generations, during wars, natural, natural disasters, and pandemics. Your love and faithfulness has been true. And we thank you that we belong to you. Father, we pray for our seniors and lifelong members. May your church benefit from their wisdom and experiences. And we pray for the young whose faith is new. 
We pray for them to be filled with your wisdom, your strength, and your peace as they begin or renew their journey with you. Help the generations to work together so that our witness to your will and promises will invite and encourage others to, discour to discover life in you. And we pray all of these things in the name of Jesus, our risen Lord, who taught us to pray. Please join with me and say aloud the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, God keep you safely etched in the palm of his hands.